In GTA V, there were drastic changes in the police department compared to previous GTAs. There are very noticeable changes which I will not be talking about in this video, such as the fact that there are only 5 stars now and no more 6 stars, but there is a lot that you probably did not notice about the GTA V police in general, be it in vehicles, in hidden places, in NPCs, in functions and other things. So leave the like at the beginning of this video, because otherwise I'll have to send Franklin and the Darkness after you too. You know, right? So let's get started. First curiosity that you may not have noticed is that there is a maximum number of police NPCs that surround you. If you look at your mini-map, you will see that there comes a time when policemen stop arriving, and the only way to spawn new policemen is if you kill a policeman who is already there. It can be both a helicopter policeman and a policeman on the ground, but other than that no one else appears. Going to the second curiosity, when you are with about 5 or 4 stars, there is a police helicopter that brings some new NPCs. What you may never have noticed is that inside the police helicopter NPCs come out of nowhere, from a black block. That is, the police helicopter was not completely rendered. A huge rockstar joke, right? I think she thought that no son of god would stop to keep looking at the NPCs coming out of the black square of the limbo inside the helicopter. But tell me, did you know that? This one was awesome, huh? Going to the third one, which I'm almost sure you haven't noticed, is the following. The policemen either don't know how to swim, or they are afraid of water. It doesn't make much sense for Rockstar to put police NPCs or special forces, none of them cross any river. I did both the test with the military and the test with the police, and if you are running away from them and crossing the river, NPCs will appear on the other side of the river, but the NPCs that are on the side there to cross, what would have to have crossed, they don't cross guys, or because of that, I don't know, I don't know if it's a Rockstar fault or if Rockstar didn't want to risk putting some NPCs swimming there and maybe they got in, got sucked in by the current, drowned, among several other piranha weird things that we can end up doing, right? It would also make sense because every time the policemen entered the current to swim or when they passed through a part like Franklin is passing here, they would be very slow. So maybe Rockstar didn't put it in so we couldn't kill them more easily. Moving on to the fourth curiosity, it's the following guys. If you acquire a level of search, the Los Santos police already have authorization to enter your safe house. Magically they find out exactly where you are comfortable. There's how it happens, I don't know. But a good part of it is that if you have at least one star of search, you'll be able to use weapons inside your house. It's very cool to use this inside Michael's house, since Michael's house has a nice destruction physics due to the mission The Collapse, which happens a war in here. GTA V police have the best police tactics to arrest you. That's what you heard. It has the best GTA police tactics in its entirety. When you're in a normal vehicle, it will go either sideways or backwards to hit you, to unbalance your vehicle. When you're riding a motorcycle, it will come to you to knock you down. That is, the police understands the vehicle you're in, and they act in a different way for each vehicle. If you're in a heavy vehicle, their strategy is to stop in front of you. Once it stops in front of you, the heavy vehicle won't have enough traction or speed to be able to escape the police. That's very cool. You can see that Rockstar really made an effort to make a smart mechanic for the Los Santos police. I don't know if it has more functions than other vehicles, but at least with a heavy vehicle, motorcycle and light vehicle. Let's continue the GTA 5 police. Don't care about the clothes you're dressing in story mode in free mode, but it changes when you enter missions. I did a simulation with the mission, a spiny situation that is a subtle blow preparation mission of the big blow in the subtle version. And when you get here with police clothes or with common NPC clothes, there are different dialogues, okay? And if you come with police clothes, you can enter quietly. So in the mission, you are recognized as an NPC or as a police officer, different from story mode. I don't know why this mechanic, but just look at- Duty officer inside will be able to help you. The police says that the police officer from the side inside could be there to help. But if we come back here as police officer, look what happens. He will ask if we shouldn't be putting traffic fines. Look at that. Shouldn't you be on the road giving out traffic tickets, bud? That is, there is a mechanic in the game that is half buggy. Let's say so, where, yes, the police officers understand that you can be another police officer if you are dressed like a... But this doesn't happen in free mode, only when you are in missions. And why you have to ask Donya Rockstar. Let's go next here. The next one is the following guys, if you hit a police vehicle automatically, you will earn a star of accident or one or two, I don't remember exactly, but if you come with another vehicle, hit hit the car right, and this car hit the police car, the police itself, it won't understand what happened, and that's why it won't get a star level for you. It's very capable of, she still goes down and shoot the NPC who had the car hit her, then you who hit the person who caused the accident is a bit of a dream, right? It's a failure so very giant, right? But anyway... 
In the roundabouts of the Los Santos police station, we can find a police vehicle that is kind of rare. This vehicle is completely different from the others, both the print and the model of the car, and it is also much faster. So I could say that, like, yes, there are police cars that are circulating around the Los Santos police station. Here I put a police vehicle next to each other. At the two ends, we have the most generic vehicles. And in the middle vehicle, we have the vehicle that is really hard to find. But even around the Los Santos police station, you can still see the generic vehicles, okay? So that's it. Let's go to the next one. The next one is the following, guys. You must have probably already stopped in front of a policeman doing a patrol. What you didn't know is that if you stand in front of him and he gets angry with you, you will automatically earn a star of search. First, he will give a pinch with the siren, right? To see if you will go ahead. And if you don't leave, yes, you will earn a star of search. One thing that few have noticed about police vehicles is that in addition to the normal siren that you can use during the game, you can also pick up and quickly click and go back. That way you will only make a police siren noise, right? As if it were just a touch for you to try to arrest the humiliating. If you do this in the middle of the road, everyone will get ahead very quickly. Starting here for the next curiosity, we are going back to the prologue of the game. The Northampton police officers, the first ones are smart, but some along the road, they have a kind of bugged reactions. Unless you stop and hit them or shoot them, they won't react to you. Even if you point a gun at them, they will still be kind of bugged in the game. The reason for this to happen, I think Rockstar paid little attention to the NPCs at the beginning of the game since we have very limited access to this part of Northampton with time and everything else, okay? You may have seen on the road those vehicles that come with the body behind or with the boat behind, right? You probably already saw it. What you probably didn't know is that if you start calling the police attention, being on top of the boat or this body that the car has, the police won't be able to know exactly where you are. And the whole thing will be kind of bugged. That's because the police will come by car behind you. And since you're going to be standing, you're kind of fooling the police algorithm, right? The police NPCs. So every time they get close, they'll get out of the vehicle and try to shoot you. And the NPC that will be controlling the car, bro, the guy will be driving perfectly. I've never seen that. The guy looks like he's a fast and furious guy, bro. And you can like run away from five stars, bro. Well, it may happen to take a S asterisk, asterisk, asterisk or something. If the guy hits you, you'll end up falling, right? But I think you got the idea. Get on a boat or a body. You won't fall out of the vehicle and you can shoot the police, okay? Moving on to the next one. Here's the thing, guys. You've probably already seen that the GTA V police also steals, guys. And how does it work? If she happens to need to go after you and there's no police vehicle nearby, she'll get any NPC car and come after you. And if there's an NPC inside, they'll still take the NPC out of the car, they'll get the car and they'll come after you. Now this one is awesome, bro. If you're passing in front of the drunk police, right? If you've had a drink or someone's passing in front of the police, it may be 10 kilometers away, yes, they'll put a searchlight on you. Something very bizarre, right? How will the police know? Look, there's a guy passing by and that guy is drunk, bro. Let's arrest him. Like, bro, it doesn't make sense, right? There should be a specific reason. If you hit the police car, for example, or you passed by and maybe cursed the policeman. But not randomly, right? Moving on to the next one. Here's the thing. You may have noticed that when there's a lot of dead police NPCs, the guys will pick up and carry their friends to one corner or another, right? And they only catch dead guys, which I found very strange, right? They should probably catch a guy alive who took a shot in the leg or something like that. But no, the guy alive who took a shot in the leg is still shooting at the people. I think this happens because the character can't just disappear out of nowhere, right? So one police takes another to the corner because there the NPC can disappear and respawn a new one. Now this one is sinister, man. If the police see that there are NPCs attacking you, right? Be it with a knife or trying to hit you. Guys, for them, it's like nothing happened. You know, everything's fine. The police are passing by. There, it's fine. There are some guys there trying to hack the partner, bro. But it's all right. What is a knife, right? Who has never taken a knife to the A asterisk asterisk now, if by chance these guys are using firearms, the police will react against them and will fight them in the fight, right? In a shooting. It can be both gang members and street people, right? In this case, I came in a gang area because it's much easier to cause trouble. And that brings us to the next curiosity. NPCs don't accumulate a level of search. For example, when we kill a cop, automatically if we kill any cop, we go up to three stars and then the reinforcements come. However, if a gang or a random guy kills a cop, no new cop will simply appear. That second car is there because I called asking for another car. And then the guy will kill there and will stay for that. It's unfair, right Rockstar? 
Also inside the police station there is a secret area that you can enter and automatically you get three stars of wanted which is the same thing that happens if you kill a policeman which would be a serious offense which I find very strange because in this secret area you have nothing more. So like why do you get three stars when you enter here? It doesn't make any sense right guys? Well let's go to the next one. And the other one here is the following. If you hide in the bushes the police can't see you. A very bizarre detail is that even if you have your head out that same police that saw you drunk one kilometer away you know and already put you in a wanted list. Even if you're there with your head out, normally the police won't see you, man. Look, you can see there on the minimap that there are a lot of policemen. I'm inside the police search area. I have half of my body out, but just because I'm in a bush, they're not seeing me. Pretty bizarre, right? You probably didn't notice, but there are female police NPCs inside GTA. It's very rare to see. Normally, you'll only see them in the police station or around the police station or very close to Los Santos police station. But I at least never saw any of them in combat when the police comes after you to kill you. Normally there's never a woman. Usually there's only male NPCs trying to shoot you, kill you in every way in the four man scramble man. Well, these are today's curiosities guys. I hope you liked it. If you did, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel. See you in the next video. A hug and bye.